Hey everybody, Sean Holsinger here from HolsingersFlyShop.com and uh, bringing you another fly time video, another streamer today. Um, this is a classic pattern. This is an Ora Smith pattern. Do a little research on him. He tied a lot with um, Golden Pheasant. He loved using Golden Pheasant, especially the crest part, the yellow crest part. Uh, he had a way of straightening it out and making it work for him, but this is a different one. He doesn't use the crest. He uses right below it, the orange pieces here, the, the five bets there. So um, really cool looking pattern and it's been one that I've been enjoying tying here lately and can't wait to fish. Now I'm going to give you a little disclaimer. He ties it bigger. Um, I want to tie it more kind of like a wet fly slash micro streamer pattern. Um, you know, I've been fishing the little micro streamers a little bit lately and having some success with them. So I'm going to tie this one small. I'm going to tie it on a size 12 and it, it just makes a nice looking pattern. So give this one a try. Like I said, look up uh, Aura Smith. He was a New England fly tire and uh, caught a lot of brookies and stuff with his pattern, you know, mountain streams and that kind of stuff. And... Uh, I just like digging into the history of fly tying. So this was one more I tied this one more for the fun of the history of it for me because that's what I am a history buff. So I uh, hope you like it guys. Here it is. Here's a picture of it and the material list to tie. Mm -hmm. Okay guys, here you see the fly and the vise. Let's get into tying it. This is a cool old pattern and um, we're going to get into tying it. So the hook I'm going to put in the vise is a fire hole 839. This is a size 12. You can tie it bigger than this. Um, tie it 10s, even an 8 would be great. And uh, I'm going to start out with some black 140 denier thread. We're going to wrap that on there and get it started. Now the next thing we're going to use is these feathers right here off a of golden pheasant, the crest, okay? Um, these are cool feathers used in a lot of old classic flies. And uh, here you can see the close-up, the tippets here. And so I'm going to pull off about seven or eight of those fibers. And I want to keep them all you see the markings on it. I want to keep those markings all lined up. So I'm going to keep them together. Straighten them out a little bit there. They got a little twisted. There we go. So keep them together. And where I'm going to lay it is, I want. you see the black piece here? I want that right off the bend of the hook. Straight above the bend of the hook. And then we're just going to tie these in. And I'm going to tie back here, and I, what I don't want to do is I don't want to go over the bend of the hook. I want to get it as close as I can. And what will help to keep it straight and in line with that hook is put a wrap underneath them. That will help that out. So we're going to cut these off. Oops. And smooth it out here. Next thing we're going to put on is this is fluorescent green peacock strung peacock curl and I'm going to take about four pieces three to four pieces whatever you like to use here and I'm going to tie them in by the tips all right so we'll tie them by the tip and then I'm going to wrap it back right to the base of that tail and make sure I get these tied off here good and then pull them off now I'm going to come back and I'm going to take my thread and I'm going to wrap this around just a couple wraps. I'm not going to wrap it tight. I don't want the thread coming through, but I do want it wrapped around there. Give it something to hold to. And then we're just going to wrap it up the hook. Oops. Let me see. I'm going to tighten this up a little bit more. going to get up there about an eye length behind and then I'm going to build up just a little bit of body with it. Don't make it too fat but build up some body 
so it's not real skinny either. Try to find a happy medium. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to put a throat on this. For the throat, I'm just using a just a red saddle, like a saddle hackle feather or something like that. Just a good wet fly hackle dyed red. I'm going to pull off about 15, 10 to 15 fibers here. And we're going to hold this underneath. So we're going to pinch it up underneath there and tie it into place. And make sure it stays down on the bottom. And we're going to wrap it right back to that peacock and we'll cut off our tags. Now, next part is kind of optional, but it looks better. I'm going to take a red deer tail. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm not going to take much here. I mean, literally, we're talking 12 to 15 hairs, maybe. I'm not going to count them out, but I, I want a very thin clump, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take them in my hand, and I'm going to pinch the tips. And I'm going to pull out the shorter ones and try to line them up. And I want to get it lined up. I don't want long ones sticking out is what I'm getting at. So what this is going to do is this is going to build up an underwing for me. And there we go. What I Where, where I want it to come is back here in the middle of the tail. And that's pretty good length. This isn't going to be very big. This is, I'm tying this as a small fly. Like I said, tie this in a 10 or an 8 and it would be a great fly. But I want to tie it where I can swing it like a wet or, you know, or just a micro streamer. I really want to get into fishing the micro streamers this year. And I've had some success with them in the past. And there you can see I got it laying nice and straight down the middle. That's where we want it. And I got my collar separated too. That's the other thing you're looking for. Next thing we're going to do is take a wood duck flank feather. Okay, here's a nice wood duck. This is actually, ma or, I'm sorry, mallard dyed wood duck. And I'm going to pull the fibers back on it like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to line it up on top and I'm going to see the length I want. And I want the length just to be just like the same length as that red. So I'm going to peel the fibers back until I get down to the right length here. So when I tie this off, I'll be tying just the shaft of the feather here. So when I'm ready to tie it, I'm gonna hold it down right on the top so I can wrap down on the shank and then wrap back up over the, the hackle fibers too. By doing that, it'll kind of wrap this around the fly and it'll make a nice wing case for it here. So. There's what we want. We're going to trim this off. And then I'm just going to clean up this head. Oops. And do a whip finish. And then we're going to hit it with some Solar Res Bend Dry to make a nice clean head on it. Okay, so put this the whole way around, give you that nice, clean, glossy looking head, that's what I like. And there you can see, this is a nice variation of the Warden Streamer by Aura Smith, and it'll catch fish, it'll be fun to fish for you too. Like I said, swing it as a streamer, or a wet fly, either one, and you'll catch some fish. Alright guys, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I like to get into the history ones sometimes, you know, they're a lot of fun for me to tie and, uh, you know, sometimes I just tie them just for the sake of tying them, not even to fish, you know, to stick it in a frame or something like that, but they can all be fished and this is one of those ones that will be a good fishing fly, so give it a try, a um, couple materials that you have sitting around that you you know some you do and some you don't use you probably already have a lot of the material change the colors if you don't and if you don't have that head for the tail don't worry about it uh, use some saddle hackle fibers or something whatever you need just to get a tail on there 
And, um, you know, you want the tail. Don't go overly big on the tail. That's not what... Keep it proportionate. Work on your proportions. So, thanks for watching, guys. I enjoy bringing these to you. And if you like this pattern, comment on it for me. You know, um, I'm always looking for other ideas. The video I did not too long ago, you guys gave me some great ideas. Got me looking at other patterns. And that's how I stumbled onto this one. Um, so... Give them a try, guys. You know, have fun tying. That's what tying's all about. Having fun and learning. So, until next week, guys, when I bring you another video, I'm Sean Holsinger.